Hello friends, today we will be talking about the classification of amino acid especially based on the R group. We already know that a typical amino acid has this general structure. A typical amino acid has an amino group, has a carboxyl group, both bound to the same carbon atom which we refer to as the alpha carbon atom and therefore we refer these amino acids as the alpha amino acids. These amino acids, the 20 commonly known, we know that the first amino acid which was discovered was aspergine in the year 1806 and the last in the list of the 20 amino acids to be discovered was threonine in the year 1938. Now these 20 amino acids though they have a common structure, they all differ in their R groups. Now these R groups they are of different types, they are of different structure, they are of uh, different electrical charge, they are of uh, different size. They also influence the solubility of these amino acids in water. Let us have an overview about the classification of amino acids based on these R groups. The first class is that of the non-polar aliphatic amino acids. Now this group includes amino acids like glycine. Glycine is popular as the one of the simplest amino acid because it has H instead of this R. Glycine also we refer to as optically inactive because all other amino acids if you see they have a chiral carbon atom with four different groups attached to it. Glycine is an exception to it because it has two similar hydrogens attached. The other in the list of this non-polar aliphatic amino acid is alanine, proline, valine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine. They contribute to the hydrophobic interactions being non-polar. Proline is more famous because it provides less flexibility to the polypeptide chain where it exists because its aliphatic uh, structure, the R group, is actually folded in a cyclical form where it forms a secondary amino or amino group it has in that cyclic structure which uh, reduces the flexibility of the polypeptide chain where proline is present. Methionine is also uh, famous because of uh, its sulfur. There are only two amino acids which have sulfur. One of them is methionine. The other group it includes the aromatic amino acids, the amino acids whose R group it contains a aromatic ring. The list includes phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. These are somewhat polar and you will find that these three amino acids, especially tyrosine and tryptophan, uh, to some extent even phenylalanine, it shows characteristic absorbance at UV range. You must have heard of absorption of proteins which is generally done at 280 nanometer. That characteristic absorption is mainly because of this tyrosine and tryptophan and to some extent because of this phenylalanine. The third in the list are the polar but uncharged kind of amino acids. Now these are polar but they do not have charge but they contribute to the hydrophilic uh, portions of a typical polypeptide chain. Uh, being polar, they interact with water. So you have in the list serine and uh, threonine. The polarity of these amino acids is due to the hydroxyl groups. Uh, you have a cysteine which has its polarity due to the sulfhydryl group. Cysteine is also famous because it is in amino acid involved in formation of disulfide bonds uh, which are famous to cysteine. Uh, they combine together to form a cysteine kind of a residue. Then you have aspergine and glutamine whose polarity is because of the amide group. Aspergine and glutamine, uh, they are the amide forms of the amino acid that is aspartate and glutamate. The next in the list we have positively charged amino acid. Now these charged, it may be positively or negatively charged amino acid, they are the amino acids which are uh, highly hydrophilic. So in the positive list we have lysine, uh, we have arginine, we have histidine. So at neutral pH, that is pH around 7, these amino acids they will have a positive charge. Lysine owes its positive charge because of a extra amino, primary amino group uh, which it has. Uh, the arginine, it has an extra positive charge because of the guanidino group which it has. Histidine, it has an imidazole uh, group which provides it a positive charge. Histidine is also famous because it is the amino acid which has a pK where near neutrality. Uh, so therefore, it uh, is more what you call as uh, significant in biology. We have a negatively charged group, amino acids which have a negatively charged R group. The two in the list are aspartate and glutamate. So at pH 7, these two, that is aspartate and glutamate, they have a negative charge. Uh, that is because of the second carboxyl group which they have. So in summary, the non-polar group, non-polar aliphatic group, you have glycine, alanine, proline, valine, leucine, isoleucine and methionine. The aromatic, we have phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. Polar but uncharged, serine, threonine, cysteine, aspergine and glutamine. 
positively charged we have lysine arginine histidine and negatively charged we have aspartate and glutamate